So Elijah, can you explain the differences and similarities between American football and rugby? Well, there's numerous amount of differences and similarities. In American football, there's a lot of um, equipment. There's helmets, there's pads, there's shoulder pads, knee pads, and rugby, it's none of that. It's just t-shirt and shorts. Um, some more is when you score in football, it's called a touchdown. In rugby, it's called a try. In rugby, it's five points and an extra kick, and you have to kick from where you scored at. So basically, if, if you score underneath the post, you have to kick from there, and if you score on a corner or the sideline, basically, that's where you kick from. It's five points for a try, and you get extra two points if you make the conversion. In football, it's six points if you score the touchdown, and, and, and a field goal in the middle of the, of the post is uh, it's extra point. In rugby, uh, the pitch, we call it pitches, not really field, so uh, the rugby pitch, that's a terminology for that. Uh, the field is longer, so rugby, it's uh, 70 meters by 100 meters. And in football, it's just 100 meters uh, long. In American football, you um, there's a quarterback. There's a set quarterback, and that's the most important guy on the field. Now, in rugby, everyone's just as important as any, you know, just yeah. as everyone else. You know, everyone is important equally. You know, so therefore, e like everyone can pass in rugby. Everybody can kick. Everyone can run. You know, like there's there's players in football who has never ran with the ball, who has never touched the ball, and I just don't feel like that's that's you know. That's yeah. a big difference. Some similarities is definitely like tackling. Like they're both, they're both dangerous sports. But it's dangerous, but safe at the same time. So you're taught how to tackle. You're taught, you know, certain moves and certain things to do to prevent injury. But there's no, you know, guarantee. Guarantee that that's gonna happen. You know, because I know people, you know, who who's been injured, you know, seriously and stuff like that because of rugby. But uh, personally, coming from me, it's a, uh, it is a dangerous sport, but it's safe at the same time. So do you think it's more dangerous than American football? I think it's safer because I feel like the helmets that American football players wear, those are what, you know, cause the concussions and, you know, the other injuries that happen. But, um, I mean, anything that can happen in American football can happen in rugby, but I feel like the tackling is what makes it, uh, is what makes rugby more safer than football. What position do you play in rugby? In rugby, I play flanker. Flanker or consider loose forward. So basically that position is in the back of the scrum. Um, in the back of the scrum, like my job will be to either like basically tackle anyone who comes off of the scrum. So it's, uh, therefore, if the scrum half decides to pick up the ball and starts to run, my job is to hit the scrum half immediately. So that's why I'm on the side of the scrum. So is this the only position you've played? I played more positions than that, but that's my dominant position and my primary position. Uh, my position, like my, uh, my role on the field as a flanker or a number eight, well, just to be dominant in tackles, basically uh, just uh, work hard often on, a, often on the ball, which means if I'm running, you know, run to gain meters and run to get over the advantage line in order to push the defense back and have my, um, my attackers, my teammates on the front foot. When do you all play rugby? I, so my club team, like we're, uh, we play all year round. We have a, um, a winter break, and that's about a couple weeks to a month. But we play in the summer, we play in the fall, and in the spring, which currently we're playing right now. So what kind of conditioning do you need in order to train for this sport? Uh, you need a lot of conditioning. So it's going to start first off with your, um, your, your cardiovascular endurance. So you need to have the ability to run for a longer period of time, and your body needs to have the ability to get tired, um, take a longer time to get tired, you know. By doing, you know, to uh, in order to reach that goal, you can do stuff like suicides. You can you can run you can run for miles. You can jog and stuff like that. Um, and that's definitely gonna pay off when it comes to the game. You know, like I started my like I really started getting into rugby freshman year. Freshman year, I started playing tackle, and that and like after my first game, like I was like, okay, I need to get stronger. I need to get fitter. I need to get faster. I need to get bigger. I was like, all right, I'm gonna join the gym. You know, uh, the gym pays off as. Um, just as much as the running does, you know, you need to be strong, you know, be powerful in the tackling and contact area. So by doing that, you lift weights, you know, lightweight, heavyweight, you do your plyometrics, you know, you eat right as well, because you're not going to get all of these gains if you don't eat right. So you have to diet yourself, you have to eat the proper food that you need in order to reach your goal. So you've mentioned the word scrum. So what exactly is it and what is some other terminology you use in rugby? Uh, so scrum, a scrum is when all of the forwards from both sides come together and they form sort of kind of like a table almost. Well, at least that's what you want it to look like by the end when, when you're finished. And a scrum, you know, a uh, team gets awarded with a scrum if there's a knock on 
for example, a knock-on is when you drop the ball forward. So you, you can't drop the ball forward in rugby or it's the opposition's ball, and that's rewarded in a scrum. You know, the scrum half puts the ball in a scrum, and it's the hooker's job to get the ball to the back of the scrum. Um, there's other terminology like knock-on. A knock-on is when you drop the ball. It's for a pass. You're not allowed to pass the ball forward in rugby. Um, uh, play the advantage. Playing the advantage is when there's a penalty happen and the and the referee doesn't immediately give away the ball. Instead, he gives the the opposing team the advantage to either play on or if they don't play on, then the penalty happen. Penalty. Penalty is when you you either you know dive into the ruck. That's another um, term diving in. And the word ruck. You know, ruck is rucks is all over the game of rugby. So as soon as you get tackled, a rucks form. And a ruck is formed when both when one player from both teams enter and they kind of like fight for the ball, but with their like body, so with their neck and their shoulders. Um, there's other terminology like um, try tries when you score. Terminology like um, there's specific parts of the field, so like the five meter line is five meters away from the touch line, which is the sideline. There's um, there's like 22 drop goal that happens when the ball goes into a goal and if I'm the opposition and I put it in before it goes in then it's the other team's scrum but if not then it's a 22 meter drop goal from them to my team oh and a line out it's awarded when the ball goes into touch line into the touch so say if I ha my team kicks the ball into touch or I run out of bounds then it's the other team's line out and a line out is basically when um, players lift each other and they compete for the ball in midair. Okay, Elijah, we are going to watch you in action in your highlight reel. And when we come back, you and I are going to do some of the moves you mentioned. <laughs> 